The Twins earned a win today at Target Field, but it came with a really tough price. Pierre Newsham joining us live now from Target Field. Pierre, a couple of scary moments now for a pair of Twins players. Yeah, guys, it was a bit of a frightening scene here today at the ballpark as both Kyle Farmer and Byron Buxton left the game with injury. Now, it sounds like Buxton is going to be okay, but the same thing cannot be said for Kyle Farmer. We're going to show you what happened here in the fourth inning, but I want to warn you, it's not a very pretty picture. Again, this incident happening in the fourth inning with Kyle Farmer at the dish, and he takes a fastball right in the face. He would leave the game and not return. The update on Farmer is he's expected to have surgery tonight and get some dental work work done, but the Twins don't believe he suffered any facial fractures, which is good news. Byron Buxton, meanwhile, in the seventh inning, running from first to second base, collides with Elvis Andrews and takes a wild spill. He, too, would come out of the contest. After the game, Rocco Baldelli did tell us, though, that he expects Buxton to travel with the team to New York as they begin their series with the Yankees tomorrow. Willie Castro, meanwhile, who came on in place of Farmer, would tally an RBI single in the eighth inning. The Twins do go on to beat the White Sox 3-1, but after the game, the concern was on Kyle Farmer. One of the more difficult days um, that you're going to have at, at, at a ballpark. That was, uh, um, I mean, you just can't stop thinking about him and, and what he's gone through and what he's about to go through. Honestly, it was pretty tough after seeing Farmer come off the field like that. You know, it's uh, just on your mind the rest of the game, hoping he's okay. Uh, luckily, we uh, got good news after the game. You know, obviously, um, he's not 100%, but uh, it's best case scenario as far as, uh, you know, the, the damage that was done. And as of right now, there is no timetable on how much time Farmer will miss. Sonny Gray, meanwhile, pitched five shutout innings, but he was doing it with an upper respiratory illness. Rocco Baldelli didn't sound very good after the game, so the Twins really going through it right now here in the early stages of the season. But the good news is they're 8-4 and four through 12 games, and they're expected to begin a seven-game road trip beginning tomorrow in New York, followed by three more in Boston against the Red Sox. We're live at Target Field. I'm Pierre Newsham. Kelsey, Amy, send it back to you. All right, Pierre, thank you. We wish Kyle Farmer the very best.